all the animals that I got here I give them a great value. Uh, they all have their scene in which you gotta give them credit for, you know. Uh, one will be a little more difficult than the other one, and one will be a little more faster than the other one. One, no, the other, one will be a little more uh, keener than the other one, but but uh, I would say that I love them all, and they all gave me a good hunting time. Yeah, since I was a very young kid, I always liked hunting. All the kids like to play baseball or rugby or do something else, and I usually like uh, to go out hunting. I guess I got that in my blood since I was a very small person. It's not like a way of life, it's like an addiction, like you say. I like it, and, and, and I'd rather be hunting than be in a party. In the States, we got about 25, 30,000 hunters that go hunting every year. And the places that I go, you have to put a lot of money. Any time that I go to Africa, we're talking about probably forty-five, fifty thousand dollars That would be including airline tickets, that would be animals, that would be uh, licenses, that would be transportation and paying for the fee of the animals and stuffing the animals. So the whole package all together, you're talking usually between forty to fifty thousand dollars I have been in the jungle of South, uh, South America, in the Amazonas, jungle uh, hunting uh, jaguar. And that's a hell of a hunt. I mean, that I've been there twice, and I have been there for 30 days, 15 days at a time, and I haven't been able to get one. I like the leopard, like I like the jaguar. I like the tiger very much. It's a very beautiful animal, and it's banned. It's completely prohibited to hunt tigers in any place in the world right now, unless you poach them. This market for skins, this market for anything. Now, when you're talking about animals that are danger, then there's more market. The market could be yourself, myself. For these people that will just buy a tiger skin just for the fun of having it. I see that the tiger is gonna get extinct sooner or later. Mostly what's happening with the poaching being done by the native of those countries. And they sell it in the black market, they sell it. The Sumatran tiger is an elusive animal. Its natural habitat is in the depths of the tropical rainforest of Sumatra. It has never been properly studied in the wild, and until recently, the inaccessibility of its habitat, remote from human contact, has ensured its survival. Tigers are territorial animals. They are also creatures of habit. A female tiger will establish her dominion over as much as a hundred square miles of forest. In the course of a few weeks, she will mark out her territory, moving mostly by night along familiar trails. As the forest is cut back for timber, logging trails offer an easy passage through the undergrowth for the tiger, but also for the hunters. Fresh tracks in the sandy forest soil betray the passing of the tiger and show the hunters where to set their snares. Like all species of big cat, the tiger is protected by the strictest international legislation and by Indonesia's own conservation laws. Nevertheless, there are probably 10 or 12 hunters operating in Sumatra, either with the tacit knowledge of the police and the forestry department, or with their active connivance. These officials are so poorly paid that their cooperation is easily bought.
There are no more than 800 tigers left in the whole of Sumatra. And although there are only a handful of hunters, between them, they may kill as many as 200 a year. The traps are of simple construction. A small hole is surrounded by a steel wire snare. When an animal steps into the hole, the trap is sprung and the wire tightens around the animal's paw. The more it fights to release itself, the tighter the snare is drawn. Each trap takes about half an hour to build and the hunters set a number of them in a given area, usually at a point where the path narrows or at the junction of two tracks. The traps may be miles apart and have to be checked each morning. Tigers know their territory well and are sensitive to even the slightest change, so the traps must be well camouflaged. Even so, when the hunters check them, they often find that the tiger has jumped across or turned back to make a detour. Sumatra is changing. Until recent years, this massive island, the fifth biggest island in the world, was only sparsely populated. Apart from scattered groups of forest dwellers, most of the island was densely forested and inhospitable. But the policy of the central Indonesian government in Jakarta has been to exploit the country's natural resources to the full. Foreign companies are exploring and drilling for the potential riches offered by the forest or the ocean floor. Logging concessions have parceled up the forest to extract the best timber. And when the logging companies have done, there are still big trees worth felling. Logging by unlicensed individuals is technically illegal, but a chainsaw costs only $500 to buy, and the timber is so valuable that this can be repaid by felling a single large tree. The police and the forestry officials will let it pass for share and profit. Large areas of Sumatran forest have been turned over to the cultivation of rubber trees. 
but successive falls in the price of rubber on the international commodity market have led to many of these plantations being abandoned. The temporary houses of the rubber tappers can be readily adapted by the hunters. They must also be prepared to spend several weeks in an area, with traps spread across great distance, living largely on what the forest has to offer. Kami sekarang jari semuanya dari motong si boleh kena saya ini dulu kan motong karet, mau mau kan aku cukup makan lagi karet terlalu murah. Sekarang kami apa belajar masak jerat. Jadi eh hari mau ni hampir habis kena jerat. Anak aku tidak mau kasih lagi, tidak ada belajar lagi untuk masak jerat lagi. Saya sudah sepuluh hari nunggu hari mau. Sekarang belum dapat, belum dapat. Saya sudah lama, sudah tahun sejak bulan Ramadan sudah dapat hari mau. 30. Sekarang belum dapat lagi. Namu saya karya umur 50 tahun, 55 tahun. Harimau itu kalau yang biasanya lalu 15 hari sekali lalu. Biasanya kalau dia pergi, baliknya 15 hari lagi ditunggu, bisa kena itu jalan. Nah itu. Lain enggak ada. Since the civil strife of the 1960s, when hundreds of thousands of people are known to have died, and the imposition of martial law by the Suharto government, no civilian in Indonesia is allowed to own firearms or ammunition. So if a hunter is going after a tiger or any other game, he must first make his weapon. Battery cells and toothpaste tubes are melted down to make lead bullets. The barrel of the rifle is made from the steering rod of a car. The stock is carved by hand. When they leave the forest, the weapons can be taken to pieces, wrapped in oily rags and buried. The hunters carry with them a large quantity of safety matches. The match heads are crushed for powder and the phosphorus from the matchbox used for priming the combustion chamber. The trigger is operated by rubber band.
The mouse deer is the smallest species of deer in the world, and like most of the forest game, must be hunted at night by torchlight. But fresh meat is a rarity for the hunters. Like the tiger, all forest animals are becoming scarce and more difficult to hunt. With the growing pressure of the human population, such protection as the forestry department is prepared to offer the island's wildlife is non-existent. The forest itself is unprotected. In the wake of the logging companies, using trails which they have blazed through the forest, come the peasant farmers to slash and burn. Once the big trees have been felled and the undergrowth burned, the soil here is sandy and lifeless. Unable to sustain growth without constant nourishment, the land quickly becomes infertile, and after a few seasons, the farmers move on, leaving only the accusing skeletons of the dead trees as witness. The main Indonesian islands of Java and Bali, with a population of over 180 million, are amongst the most crowded in the world. To relieve the pressure on these islands, and also to establish a Javanese supremacy throughout Indonesia, large numbers of the population are being translocated to less crowded islands like Sumatra. Landless peasants are encouraged, with small incentives and offers of free land, to follow the logging trail and establish new communities in the forest. But after the rich volcanic soil of Java, the spent earth of the burnt forest makes for poor farming for the unskilled immigrants. The wealth that the forest has to offer has already been taken.
The monitor lizard is highly prized for its decorative skin, and although protected, it is hunted throughout Southeast Asia. The dried skins are tanned and turned into cowboy boots or handbags in the workshops of the East for export to the fashionable boutiques of London or Paris.
Dari mana dari bulan Ramadan sampai tahun ini sampai bulan Ramadan ini sudah dapat 31 banyaknya. Oleh karena kita akan dijual murah dan lagi 300 yang kecil 400 yang besar. Lalu dibagikan kepada orang punya ladang 30 ribu pada pada desanya kadang kadang tuh di modal ribu kan. Jadi sudah itu. Dapat uang siswa itu kadang adalah satu lebih dikit. Kami bagi dua lah tau, bagi tiga nunggu hari. Cuma itulah hasilnya. Lebih itu kita beli bas, beli makanan lah. Sekarang kan pemburu itu di lahan merentah. Oleh karena kan, karena kita tak makan, tak paksa kita buat menjadi pemburu. Nah ada lagi saya lah yang jadi pemburu lain, lain lagi. Anak saya pun tidak diajar lagi untuk jadi pemburu. Nah. Anak suruh sekolah kan, jangan sampai lagi jadi pemburu macam kita lagi. Saya memungut kok sampai nyerat berat biawak, kan nyerat kancil, kancil itu makan, biawak tu untuk jual kulitnya macam kita ni. Kadang tu tu tambahan kalau dapat ino, ya lah kadang dapat ino kulit biawak itu lah yang kita jual untuk makan, jual kerja ni. Kalau lima kan kita jual kerja di jual. Saya tu untuk siapa pun tak tahu. Saya tu kita jual. Jadi mau ko payah, jadi mau hampir habis kan. Ladang orang banyak dibuka kan hampir habis ladang. Lima tu hampir habis juga. Kalau habis lima tu kan kita tak ada lagi pencarian lain. Mungkin mukut anak lah kalau anak sekolah, bisa sekolah kan tinggi. Itu lagi anak lah makan. Kita nak Mencari lain dah tua, betani tak bisa lagi. Jadi pemburu kos sebenarnya payah. Oleh kerana kan saya tu apa tepok so keadaan kan hidup. Tepat apa boleh buat lah keadaan tu. Nampak lagi nak makan payah. To preserve the tiger skin on its journey to the city. It is immersed in a bucket of spirit. It may stay like this for up to two months before it reaches its final destination. The price that carrier gets for it is determined by the size and condition of the skin. The skull is sold along with the skin to be incorporated into the animal when it is stuffed. The hunters take the best meat for their own use 
and dry some for sale locally. They also take most of the animal's bones because they are highly prized by the Chinese community for their medicinal value and will be offered for sale in pharmacies throughout Southeast Asia. Hello. The journey to Jambi takes several hours, and although his load may be an unusual one, the hunter takes a communal taxi from his village without attracting special attention. The trans Sumatran Highway runs the length of the country, bordered on both sides by mile on mile of unending forest. So much forest would appear to offer sufficient protection, but the encroaching human population, the mining and the logging, are biting deeper every year. It is perhaps just a matter of time before the Sumatran tiger is wiped out. Sadly, there is no place for these animals in this changing world. Like the dead tree dragged out of the forest to be turned into plywood, the tiger is just another chance for a quick profit. Many of the tiger skins are bought by antique dealers whose main trade is in relics stolen from ancient Hindu temples and Chinese burial sites. Some of the skins are sold direct to foreign technicians working in mining or exploration. Others, still in the bucket, are smuggled by Indonesian seamen down the coast of Sumatra to be sold to the taxidermists of Penang or Singapore. This one, that one. This one bigger. When we order uh, many, many hair, every month we have, yeah, so many. Yesterday I buy one uh, 500. Still come from Pagambaru, Indonesia. So I think one year maybe 10, I think. 10 tiger. Uh, 3,000 to 3,500.
Ramadan to Ramadan. Thirty-one tigers were shot to the heart by one hunter. Skin with a razor blade. Stowed in the hull of an old fishing boat to be sold as a trophy, a rug or a coat. And a hunter can't ever think twice, 'cause his children depend on the rice. From Belem to back again. Tropical forest is slashed, burned by the acre, and raised by the power of soil. Till nothing that's living is safe or remote. The lizard is slit from its tail to its throat. So the north demands from the south, where you live direct from your hand to your mouth. Reptile, feline. And butterfly wings raised to the power ten. Then lemurs and rhinos are just some footnotes in a forgotten study somebody wrote. But their passing is no mystery. They're being stolen. They're passing. It's no mystery. They're being stolen. <laughs> 